This is 2015 Nintendo Playmake Maker Mario Super. Yep. Game. Friends. Super Mario, Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker 2. Su Super Paper Mario Maker 64. Yep. Well, that's what it looks like. Super Paper Mario Maker. Anyway, I actually remembered to bring my levels this time. Mm. So I'm going to show some off. And hopefully it's not going to be utterly broken this time. <laughs> yeah, here's all the new event courses. Um, that's not that's not an issue at all. Forget about it. Can you show me the new physics that you brought? I'm interested in trying the new physics. Oh wait, wait no, it still has the old physics. I'm dealing with all these new mechanics. Like the bookmarks, which is actually a website. This is the stupidest shit. They they can't include a search function in the game because that would. So they, this is actually loading a website. If they included a search oh. function in the game, they oh would probably get like a T rating or something because uh, yeah. they can't manage it. I hate. Oh, I hate that when a game uses a website in it. Mm -hmm. Hate like playing a game now, and looking up the manual, and uh, it's just going to the website. Here you go. Use the console's internal web browser now. Yeah. To read this. Okay. Now, this is the. Uh, what? Just a sec. He's entering in the code yeah. into the gamepad screen for his stage. Whoops. Of course not found. <laughs> of course still not found. I never... I realized I never differentiated the uh, zeros and O's. Oh my god. He didn't do that. But the, it, the game doesn't do that either. Look. What? Look at how similar they are. The O and the zero. <laughs> huh. God damn it. What were they thinking? Okay, E706. Some games are nice enough when they generate codes E6. for things to not use O's and zeros. Yeah, I know. That reminds me, uh... Remember our textbooks? how they had a DRM thing where you had to actually uh, get buy the textbook and then put the code into their website so you could get the, the quizzes. Remember that? Yeah. Did you know that one of my books has a has a code, a DRM code for the quizzes that you have to take on that textbook that uses uh, I's and lowercase L's? <laughs> and they're the same. Oh, God. They're the no. exact same character in their font. Yeah. Great. Serious. It's like L's. I, I looked at it, and one of the codes was like I I I, one, but it turned out to be like I L L, and they were the exact same character. Why? Why did they do that? <laughs> they must know that, that doesn't shit doesn't fly. Uh huh. Here, it's easy. Just use your one-time code: five S five five S S S I L L I O zero O zero I L O zero. 5S O zero L I O zero. You got it? Okay. okay, yeah, no problem, bro. And it's a stylized font where the five looks exactly like an S. Okay. Here is uh my Cabela's Deer Hunt of Mario levels. Why? This is the first one I made. Has eighty three plays and six stars. Is that good? Um yeah, usually usually it uh comes to around 40 plays and uh, two stars, or in worst case, zero. Um, Wait but, a minute. Uh, how do you accrue plays? I assume people play a level and they don't play it again. Yeah. So how does it get popular? Um, do you rate it and then it I shows think, up in most popular or something? Actually, uh, 
I think it's completely random because all of my levels get plays. No matter what they are, how many stars they have. It whatever. is confusing. Like, how do people... When a stage, say a, sta say a stage is good, how does that exactly get played more in this system? Um, I don't know. It, it's, it's actually, uh, it's actually a mystery because, uh, like, I, I go on, um, easy mode, the levels are all crap, and I go on, um, like, uh, expert mode, where... Uh, they categorize these based on uh, how many people died in the levels, mm -hmm. and uh, all the levels are like either decent or a little a little bit interesting. So uh, I, I don't know. It, 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 somehow most of the levels I get are good, uh, good quote unquote. Like is in they they've uh, they aren't just some uh, three year old put together. Well, anyway, here's um, here's this thing. It's uh, it's full of secrets, um, and it's really short, and I think that's why it's popular. <laughs> yeah, people don't actually want to play anything. See, like they uh, just want hitting. To show me some things. Yeah. Here you go. I'll show you some stuff. Hitting that Koopa like just uh, positions you perfectly to hit this uh, secret block. But how do I get up there now? Hmm. Well, uh, now they have my mushroom. Um, I can actually backtrack. Oh wait, but how do I backtrack? Well, there must be, uh, there must be something hidden somewhere. Ah, springboard, yes. So I'll go over here. Drop the springboard. This is actually to, uh, get another springboard, which is right here. Wait, what? This is That's all... Like, oh, it's like Resident Evil, getting a key to open a drawer with another key in it. No, the exit was right next to where I, uh where I turn around. Mm -hmm. So this is an insanely short level, but it's full of all these secrets. Mm -hmm. um, go around here. Get all kinds Why of coins. Why didn't you make the level so that you needed a springboard for every pipe to get over? <laughs> you couldn't get over a single pipe without some new springboard. Well, see... <laughs> see, the, this is what I thought of... Uh, like, I actually thought that no one would want to play this if it was actually challenging. So I decided the first one I was going to make was going to be just a play around level. Guess that's what people like. So like, uh, go up here, hidden block up there. What? What the? You look up, there's piranha plants. What the hell? Why the piranha plants up there? I, I think I actually locked myself out of that getting up there, so I might not even be able to show it off. Anyway, I'll uh, see what's going on here. What's in that block? What's in that block? We're gonna find <laughs> out now. What's in the now. block? We're gonna, We're gonna find gonna... out now. Oh, oh yeah! Wow. It's a coin. Excellent. If I had, uh, if I'd found a P switch. Which I think is right here, yeah. And, um... <laughs> I activated the P-switch. And, like... See, this would turn into a block. The coin. So, um... If I dropped a shell in there, I would've got all kinds of coins for that. So now I can't do that. So I go down here. What's this platform? Oh, whoops. Oh, there's the springboard that lets me get to the top of the flagpole. Uh, if I get it in time. So yeah, that's... I can also get in there. Uh, I can... See, there's a bunch of hidden blocks in that little area. Mm -hmm. They all have enemies in it. So if, uh... If I made all those enemies spawn, then I hit the flagpole, all the enemies would be destroyed, and i get, uh, exactly three one-ups. Hmm. <laughs> What's going on with this bottom here? You, how do they know you may also enjoy these? I don't know! How do they determine, uh... I have no idea what's going on I'm with this I'm just wondering game. what little, uh, flags appear on these levels that the inbuilt intelligence of it can tell it elements of the level. Like, yeah. how do they know, like, it's good, or... Hey, you might also like this. We don't know why. All I know is that it categorizes difficulty based on how many people die. But, like, 
I don't know if it's a percentage of deaths or whatever, because I have game, I have levels that nobody was able to complete, and I imagine those are uh, categorized as expert. Yeah, but you could probably have a level that's amazingly easy that no one has completed. Yeah. Yet a lot of people have played, right? Because no one actually beats anything. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Imagine if a uh, Mario Maker came out, and you if you didn't beat the level. Uh, it deleted your save. Like, for all the things that you had, it deleted all your levels. So you had to beat the level you're playing. Yeah. So everybody's level had to be finished, or it deleted your save file. <laughs> or you have to... Burger Boulevard. You don't have to, uh... You don't have to complete levels to upload them, but you have to complete levels to, uh... continue, um... <laughs> <laughs> wait, yeah, yeah, general. wait, yeah. It gave you a level, and if you didn't beat that level, you couldn't play any other levels. <laughs> beat this one first. Yeah. Oh, man, that would just ruin it. Well, this is Burger Boulevard. It's Burger Boulevard. And this Mario is... has a shadow. Yeah. <laughs> it's Paper Mario Maker. Um, What's that stupid thing? That's th not from Mario 3. Yeah, th this is a new thing. This is what happens when you uh, shake a saw. It's just something they randomly added one. You get day. a donut. You get yeah. a little, uh, little elastic torus. They ba they work a little bit differently than uh, like the uh, note blocks. Like, you, based on your angle, you'll be shoved in a certain direction. You know, it just they're they're like the uh, the tires in Donkey Kong Country. Man, it's, it sucks so much that Nintendo has no idea how to handle their like online social sphere. Like they keep trying to shut shit shit down on YouTube and Twitch and all that. Yeah. Like uh this would be so popular if they had released it the day the Wii U launched. Yeah. And uh yeah. had this right out of the gate and had it so you could stream it inbuilt into the system. Uh-huh. Ugh. But no. Oops. See, it baffles me that nobody beat this level. Because look, you do this thing that you would naturally do in Mario Three, <laughs> and you, you get a you get a, get a Goomba shoe. You go right over here. There's this area. Normally, you'd have to go through it with a cloud, but I have the Goomba shoe, so it's easy as shit. You just walk right. And look at all these power-ups. Like this this is a on par with any other Mario level. If not easier. There's this little area here. This smells like you just discovered those donuts. And well, this is the stage I, I just I, I just decided to use them for this one. Oh. Well, maybe this is a bit hard. Ah, crap. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I'm going to try to get the red coins this time. Uh. Oh, yeah. Instead of doing that, do this. Get this. Oh, whoops. There's feather there. Hold on. Go in here. Having fun with the physics, bro? Here's a optional mm. challenge. Oh, yeah, that looks right. The way they're moving. Yeah. Mm. They only work this way when you, uh... Well, these didn't appear in Mario 3, but... Obviously not. <laughs> yeah. They only work this way if you, uh... If you put a... Whoops. Put wings on them. Hmm. Otherwise, they're the potabos the for Mario 1. Can you put wings on Mario? Uh, no. Why not? Well, because you can't... Anything you put on Mario can only be used in the, uh... When you're testing a level. Hmm... Hold on. Why can't you add Mario's to a stage? And it works like the cherry power up from uh, Mario 3D Land. Or 3D World, or Yeah. You should do that. <laughs> Have it so there's Mario's that copy you. Copy what you do. Make Put Shadow Mario in the game. <laughs> yeah. As a, as a next update. Uh -huh. A thing where there's another Mario who'll copy exactly what you do. So you have to be careful that you don't do things that'll make it impossible. For you, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Okay, so this is. Uh, Take notes, Nintendo. It's the next update you can do. 
Okay, that's simple enough. Yep. Take notes, Nintendo. Next update you could do is Flood. Here's an awesome... Put Flood in the game. I, I really like this, uh, this spike hat because he can destroy anything by jumping into it. Oh, I hate how it shakes around on his head. Yeah, it's... Why do they keep right. doing these non-sprite things? I don't know. I hate it. They love doing that. Why did they make everything look like it wasn't actually the game? Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't... They're like, you know what? Let's make this look less like what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> it's okay. Everything oh, has a shadow it. now. And things don't look right because they shake around. Like, free-scaling sprites moving around all over <laughs> the place. Like, yeah. Like, just how like it didn't happen in the original hardware. Remember mm -hmm. that? Ooh. Oops. I think, no. I think it was this one. No. Never mind, forget me. Oh, I already got that one. Oops. Well, uh, I kind of forget where my secrets are. <laughs> It, pro tip, uh, for wait, when you're making Mario levels, uh, don't test them until long after uh, you, you've like actually made them. Cause you'll forget everything. Whoops. Okay. Here we go. Four. Now I got the key. Four. Count them. Four red coins. Yep. Well, you can add as many as you want, I've realized. Like, first I thought uh, the limit was five, hmm. but, uh... Hold on. You can add as many as you want? Uh... I don't know... Like, can you, can I, you make every coin a red coin? What I'm saying is, uh, the... I've seen a level with, like, eight red coins, so I don't know if, what the hmm. upper limit is. I wish, yeah, I wish you could have as many as you wanted, so you could have the whole stage littered with red coins. But you had to get them all. Mm -hmm. So you had to get like thousands. I'm gonna stir this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a stir because I liked it. Yeah, I like this one. This one's well made. <laughs> I'm just gonna add that one to my favorites. <laughs> I'm just gonna nominate that one for the yearly Mario Maker Maker's Prize. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I'm just gonna give that one an Oscar. Hold on now. Not because I made it. <laughs> I'm just gonna give that one a Nobel Prize. Uh, a. Imagine if you could just search for stages. Yeah. Without having to put stupid codes in. Oh god. Why can't Nintendo just let people search things? I hate that so much. The stupid, like in Xenoblade Chronicles X, there's a huge multiplayer scene, like with people playing simultaneously, but it's so hard to actually meet anyone or get anything done mm -hmm. because it's all behind these strange thought police things where you, you can't, like, you have to be in the right squad to talk to people and you gotta, like, friggin' go do a squad task to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You have to... Everything has to go through Big Brother, Nintendo, to make sure everything is kosher. Like... Okay. Spooking around for Red Coins! This was the day uh, Red Coins came out. I was ecstatic that they finally had Red Coins. So I made a Mario 64-esque uh, Red Coin level. Oh boy, I don't know if I want to bother hmm. doing this one. I don't remember those mushrooms being there. No. Nope. What's that? That's a that's a Mario Maker original, my friend. <laughs> oh jeez. Don't know why I made a clusterfuck of enemies. I hate levels like this. Well, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, go up here. Whatever you're supposed to wait for that thing to come up. Yeah, but... Too bad you couldn't just make it like a modern game where Mario just runs forward and he gets millions of coins and kudos and good job and <laughs> wow. Wow, good job, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the... Okay, we're good. Get to cover, Mario. Get to cover, Mario. Get to cover. Right, yeah. I don't like the screen centering when you're, uh, like, above the bottom level. I think it's too high. Like, Mario should be a little bit lower here. Oh yeah, here's the B-switch. What was I thinking? What oh. does the P stand for in P-switch? Press. <laughs> I guess. It probably stands for pizza. Or Paschetti. Oh yeah, Paschetti. <laughs> Paschetti. Paschetti. Haha, uh -huh, spaghetti. <laughs> I think that's a uh, Tim and Air thing. Yeah, it is. Sp spaghetti? It's a... Haha. Uh -huh. It's a reality TV show where uh, a person named Spaghetti will stand will hide somewhere and then spook you and say spaghetti <laughs> and then it gets on video and it has, everyone has a gay old time oh I got spaghetti spaghetti <laughs> and it's just like spaghetti with the bottom half of the word lopped off yeah <laughs> why the hell not I don't know why do you think of that I don't it's it's humor comedy Top class comedy. Uh, yeah, the 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 last one is pretty weird. Over here. Yeah, you got to get the the Camix to destroy the blocks. <laughs> Then, have you uh tr have you tried making a horror oh, you uh, bet. Have you tried making a horror level yet? Where uh, it's actually scary. Can you do that? Is that possible? <laughs> um I don't know. Make something really scary and tense. You can make things that are scary as in the theme, <laughs> but like how uh, Castlevania on the NES managed to be scary without anything because it was like so hard and you get so far and you're just terrified of that freaking skeleton getting oh yeah you. maybe you could do that but like just when you make Mario hard it build just up ends the up tension. being frustrating well just maybe have long hallways with nothing in it oh, yeah. or something and then a really hard thing and then tricks and scams <laughs> <laughs> Have you made a romantic comedy stage yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Tried that before, but it was never good enough. <laughs> what was it about? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, whoops. Have you made a sci-fi stage? <laughs> uh, there's one sci-fi item in this game. What is it? The, uh, the cave in Mario 3. Uh, when you put down a semi-solid platform, one of them, it might be a, uh, something with, like, w wires and stuff on it. <laughs> it just looks totally out of place. 